see now, and you obviously his faculties were beginning to deteriorate. The army, the army did something very, very professional. People of Zimbabwe, they are bonded to the army. You know, we created an army out of nothing, out of our, out, except our sacrifice. You know, dead bodies, you know, young people dying in the 70s. That's how we created our army. So the people want to be in, lock in step with their army. And once the army, the, the army got the feelings of the people of Zimbabwe, it moved. And the people responded in kind to the, to, to the army. We are bonded with our army. It's a people's army. And their conduct has been impeccable. Completely, I mean, totally professional. I told you, African coups have got a way of having a nasty ending. But this one has been done in such a way that it's, you know, it's, 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 you actually happy that the army just corrected a situation which was, and it was not a coup. Is it a coup or not a coup? I'm saying African coups have got a way of turning out to be nasty. This one was a correction by the army, an intervention, a time and expeditious inf intervention on a situation which would have deteriorated and ended up Zimbabweans at each other's throats. The army was exquisite in the intervention. They've been having their negotiations for a week. He better give in to them now. If he doesn't, we take over from where the defense forces left. What does that mean? It, we, what does that mean? We we'll say we want a team from the party. We want a team from the war veterans to go and tell him to march out of his. To, to, we'll take him. If he doesn't, then we we'll bring back the crowd and they'll do the business. The army must finish with him today by 12. If he doesn't, we take over from there. Who should take over? The war veterans and the people of Zimbabwe. Who should? Ah, it's specific. I know he said a lot.